the city of canals. The city of bicycles. And the most extravagant city in the Netherlands, Amsterdam. Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands. Inhabited by 780,000 people, this place has much to offer visitors. Museums, shops, restaurants and a fantastic nightlife. A city where you don't have a minute to spare. We'll be taking our trip to Amsterdam together with Mark and Tamara. OK Amsterdam, here I come. Mark is staying at one of the finest hotels in the city. A great way to explore the city is by scooter. It's a quick and fun way to get around. Although cycling is the Dutch way to get around, the scooter has claimed a well-deserved second place in Amsterdam. Watch out though, because the many cyclists and the narrow streets can be a bit tricky. And the best part, free parking. Hi chap. In another part of town, Tamara tries a different approach. It can be a good idea to get some sort of transportation in a city such as Amsterdam. This way you get to see a lot of the place in a short period of time. Well, guess what kind I'm taking. Smart move. It's a great idea to make use of the intricate web of canals running through the entire city. And watch your head though, Amsterdam has over 1200 bridges. you really have the best view of all these beautiful old houses, so don't forget to look up. Amsterdam Boats offers exclusive trips over the Amsterdam waterways. Enjoy the high-end service, whether it's for pleasure or entertaining business contacts. You decide where to go and what to see. Mark is ready to test another iconic way of getting from A to B in Amsterdam. It's hard to miss the amount of cyclists riding through the city of Amsterdam. Rich or poor, everybody rides his bike. And actually, it isn't such a bad idea because it's usually quicker than a taxi. But instead of hitching free rides with pretty girls, your time is better spent exploring Amsterdam's many shopping streets and districts. The Albert Kauk Market is a great example, as are the Nege Straatjes, with its rare and specialized boutiques, such as Skins Cosmetics. If you, like me, get excited about everything fragrant, this is the place to be. Now let's find something for tonight. If you're looking for the ultimate beauty experience, this is where your search ends. Skins Cosmetics has a unique assortment of exclusive and innovative brands in skincare, makeup and fragrances. Thank you all. Well, one for me and one for my lady friend. They value service, quality, unbiased advice and the opportunity to test all the products. You can find Skins Cosmetics in the Nine Streets as well as the Museum District. Sauna Deco is located on the beautiful Hierathra and it's famous for its exquisite Art Deco interior which was salvaged from a 1920s Parisian warehouse. Enjoy a massage or relax in one of the saunas at one of the city's most carefully kept secrets. It's lunchtime and some locals told Mark about one of the city's hidden gems, from the Murakt situated on the idyllic banks of the River Amstel. Thanks. 
restaurant van de markt is Dutch for restaurant from the market. And I was told they work only with the best fresh seasonal products. Cheers. And what's exciting is that they make these surprising combinations like duck with strawberry. Mm, delicious. Van de Markt is a culinary experience set in a modern yet romantic interior. The wine cellar is stocked with a unique selection of wines and there is a wide variety of options for private dining on a beautiful location overlooking the River Amstel. Like most major European cities, Amsterdam is a shopper's paradise. And some of the greatest stores are conveniently located on this PC Hoofdstraat. So, thank you very much. Back to Mark, who is making a stop at a very special Amsterdam store. This monumental building sets the scene for Europe's finest cigar house, Hyenius. Over here, the customer is still king. Reminds me of my grandfather. Since 1826, this Dutch experience store has been a treasure trove of knowledge and quality in cigars. Yeah, I have to say it's a real experience. It's almost like a cigar museum in here. And one thing is for sure, staff knows their collection like the back of their hand. Can I try one? Yes, of course. Hyenius accommodates a cigar collection unlike anywhere else in the Netherlands, and the smoking lounge is an oasis of peace. Well, the Dutch consider this a real treat. It's raw fish, herring, served with your choice of onions and gherkins. It's an acquired taste, but I happen to love it. Mmm, it's really healthy too. Amsterdam is famous for its nightlife, and I feel like having a cocktail tonight. And I heard this is the perfect place. Momo Restaurant Bar and Lounge offers amazing food and drinks from around the world. Here you'll find sophistication and style along with a busy but chilled atmosphere. I think that I'm today for the forbidden fruit go. The forbidden fruit. Apart from the delicious cocktails, you can also enjoy quality sushi. Just like its Japanese name signifies, allow your taste buds to blossom at Momo. Sit back and relax in Momo's modern decor and experience the scents and flavors from the Far East at this Amsterdam hotspot. After a good night's rest, Mark and Tamara are ready for another day in the capital of the Netherlands. Park is one of those places that's just buzzing with energy all year round. And it's basically a big patch of green where Amsterdamers go for some relaxation or their morning workout. The park is over one and a half centuries old and named after Dutch poet Joost van den Vondel. 
it's definitely worth a trip, especially during the summer, when free concerts and theatre shows are organised on a weekly basis. to imagine I'm in the middle of a busy city right here. It's a great place to recharge your batteries. <sighs> well, we've really earned this. Amsterdam is a city chock full of arts and culture. There's something for everyone, and Mark has decided to take a closer look. For such a small country, the Netherlands have blessed us with quite some famous artists, and perhaps the most famous of all. Yes, Vincent van Gogh. Nowhere in the world can you find such a huge collection of his original pieces as at the museum that bears his name. However, not all questions can be answered. The question remains, did Vincent cut his own ear off or not? The Van Gogh Museum gives those who visit it a chance to learn more about the artist's developments or to compare his paintings to others from the same era. The museum also holds an extensive offer of exhibitions on various subjects from 19th century art history. The Anna Frank House, the former shelter where Anna Frank wrote her diary, also includes a museum. The museum tells the history of the eight people in refuge and those who helped them during the war. It is a key reminder of the atrocities of World War II and a must visit for everyone. Amsterdam is a city of living the good life. Enjoying a local drink is warmly recommended. At House of Balls, you can do two exciting taste experiments and experience how people react to smells, colors and images. The House of Balls is a real experience. It's all about seeing, feeling, smelling, but I prefer drinking. Well, now the fun part starts. Because this cocktail selector helps you to find your own favorite cocktail recipe. Hi, that looks uh, pretty impressive. That's good. Well, this has to be a good drink. There you go. Enjoy. Cheers. Mmm, very good. Step into the House of Balls where you can discover the world behind your neighbor and liqueurs. Unmask the amazing truth behind taste, aroma and smell and experience the glitter and glamour of the world of bartending. This elegant canal house is dedicated to a specific item we all use every day, the bag. But it's not just bags. Purses, suitcases, satchels, you name it. 500 years of history of the Western ladies' bag in one place. The collection includes some very special items. Well, I've been to many museums and I've seen some fine art, but to be quite honest, I've never wanted to take home the collection as much as I do now. With over 1,500 bags on display, the Museum of Bags and Purses tells the compelling story of a very special object. Make sure you visit the cafe overlooking the splendid garden. Between the museum square and the city centre lies the Spiegelkwartier. More than 70 galleries and art shops cover this picturesque area. I say it's a must visit. I agree, Mark. The diversity in the Spiegelkwartier is unique in the world. Contemporary ceramics, Roman glass, Dutch old masters or tribal treasures. 
This charming neighborhood at the foot of the Rijksmuseum will leave you in awe. This is my favorite. A 1978 caramel apple. Tamara's on her way to Dower's Fine Art, the world's oldest family-run art gallery, which is located in a listed building next to the Rijksmuseum. I was told the collection of this prominent art dealer is really impressive, and this is the room with the old masters. Have a good look around. At Dower's Fine Art, they take pride in the quality of their collection. Their philosophy is that great art should be available for everyone and they work hard to keep everything you see here not just of the highest quality, but also affordable. Well, this really is an extraordinary collection of fine art, and it doesn't even feel like a gallery, it's more like a personal museum. The Dowers family business is known worldwide for their expertise and skillful restorations. This iconic gallery is a must-visit for every art enthusiast. Amsterdam has been a real diamond city for centuries. Costa Diamonds is not just a jewel. It is a museum, or rather, a world of diamonds. With a free guided tour, you'll learn everything there is to know about this shiny world. This stone is called the Royal Tour One, and it's only created here. Discover the secrets of diamond cutting and polishing and admire the impressive diamond and jewelers collection. A brilliant experience which you won't forget in a hurry. Almost everyone in the world enjoys a cold beer every now and then. Heineken made it possible to experience the brewing process firsthand, right here in Amsterdam. Ever wondered how they do it? Smell, taste, and watch the secret unravel. The humble beginnings of a beer. Heineken offers a real experience worthy of your visit, whether you're a beer connoisseur or not. It will captivate your senses and tickle your imagination. This is the heart and soul of Heineken. There's only one fitting ending to the Heineken experience. Prost! Mark has retired to his hotel, where he enjoys a relaxing moment and prepares for the evening ahead. Tamara's just arrived at Arm the Pool, known for its idyllic location on the edge of the city. Arm the Pool literally translates to at the pond. Look at this view. Meanwhile, what's going on in the kitchen is even more exciting. Guests can choose between a regularly changing six-course dinner or take their pick from the extensive a la carte options. Wow! It's really excellent. It tastes even better than it looks. Mm. The sheer quality on offer at Underpool is undeniable and the talented staff at this Michelin star restaurant will make sure your evening will be a memorable one. Mark is also ready for something to eat. From the many mouth-watering restaurants, he has opted for Fis on the Schelde. At this recently modernized location, you'll find a menu that alongside some of the classic fish dishes includes several surprising combinations. Cheers. Well, according to the Amsterdammers, I should definitely try this place. And because there are so many great things in the menu, I think I'll let the chef decide. Fis on the Schelde is one of the very best fish restaurants in the city. A perfect place to enjoy some splendid seafood and the service of warm and attentive staff. You won't 
get them any fresher than this. Mm. Sit back and soak up this wonderfully stylish restaurant and all it has to offer your senses. As you'd expect, Amsterdam is chock full of entertainment possibilities. Wish me luck, because I'm all set for a night at the casino. Even without it, you're in for a good time, Mark. Holland Casino Amsterdam offers a full night of food, drinks and a wide variety of entertainment. Yes. All right. Next round of drinks are on me. Well. This is the perfect place for an exciting night out. Relax at one of the bars, have a bite to eat at the restaurant, or try your luck at one of the many games in this surprising and stylish casino. The Carré Theatre hosts many world-famous shows and performances. Musicals, cabaret, ballet, and everything in between has graced the impressive stage on the banks of the River Amstel. So, reserve your seat and enjoy the magic at the heart of Dutch theatre. This impressive building is called the Royal Concertgebouw. Its interior is famous for its great acoustics, making it a great location for a fantastic night out. Visit the website for the top class and often surprising programming. From grand overtures to intimate pop music, featuring the world's best musicians, orchestras and conductors. The lively area around the Neumarkt is also known as Chinatown. After working hours, the Amsterdammers immediately head for the terraces to meet up with friends and have a drink. And one of the greatest places to really sample the Amsterdam zest for life is right here, the Neumarkt. Apart from the terraces which Tamara is enjoying, this is also a good place to grab a bite to eat. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> you go on ahead, I'm gonna be here for a while. When night falls in Amsterdam and you take a walk through the old meandering streets, you cannot miss bubbles and wines. It's incredible. They have 80 different champagnes by the bottle. I think I know which one I go for. And also more than 50 wines per glass. Different wines are being kept in an advanced system that ensures the quality of the wine for every glass. No wonder they were awarded best wine bar. To Amsterdam. Bubbles and Wines is set in a classy and warm atmosphere for a romantic get-together or a toast with friends. Nights out in Amsterdam are usually filled with glitz and glamour, with most of the city's hottest spots mixing stylish decor with gorgeous clientele. And Mark, he seems to be enjoying himself. Emilio, thanks for the night, man. Yes, it's all mine. All right. Man, I think for me it's time to go home. This city never sleeps. Sadly, Tamara and Mark's weekend in Amsterdam has come to an end. Well, let me tell you, Amsterdam really is a great place to visit. The sights, the people, just everything. But it's time for me to go now, so I'll just say, doei!